The Mimic is a 2017 South Korean horror film. Uh, I really wanted to get into this movie. I love um, the concept, something about like a... It's basically about a grieving family. Uh, the mother, she lost her son five years ago because she left him with um, in a food court with uh, her, grand, her mother who had dementia or, or something. And uh, something happened to the kid, he disappeared. And she's grieving. She's got a daughter though and a husband. They're, they're veterinarians or something. They work with dogs. And they move to the countryside so they can take care of the mom. And um, these two kids are missing their dog and they, they find this cave. And inside this cave is an old building. And at the beginning of the film, this man kills a woman and leaves her in there. And he, he sort of breaks a barrier over to something supernatural. There's a supernatural entity that escapes from this cave and it can torture people by pretending to be your loved ones, by sounding like them, and because uh, it's a mimic. So um, overall, this movie just tries to do too much. There's way too many characters. There's like this detective guy who's in there. He doesn't really do anything. There's a, like a priest lady who's just there for an exposition dump. And then there's also the, the killer at the beginning of the movie. And, uh, and I know what the movie's going for. The movie's going for kind of like uh, the same tone of Mama. Have you seen the Galero del Toro film in which, uh, you know, an entity takes care of an orphan girl or something in the forest and it comes back to get her. And they're trying to go for that in this movie. And it does have the emotion, but the movie's not scary. It's not that thrilling. And then it falls into cliche territory in the last third act. You know, the movie is trying to be like an emotional dark drama, but it's also trying to be a horror film, it's also trying to be a ghost movie, but it's also trying to be like a way too many things going on. Uh, it should have been a little bit more streamlined like this other movie. This other movie, it wasn't that great either. It's called The Hole in the Ground. It's about a woman whose son disappears for like 10 minutes and then when he comes back, he's not him because, you know, it's, it's like a mimic. That's a better concept. I would have preferred that this movie tried to do the same thing with the sun, because that's sort of like introduced, but it's never really like utilized, really. It's kind of just like a chip on the shoulder of the mother. She doesn't trust the police because they never solved that case. And I guess this daughter is supposed to be a replacement and it's not very subtle. And um, yeah, overall the movie's just, um, it's all over the place. It's not scary. It, it just leaps all over the place trying to be one thing. So I give, uh, and another thing I gotta say before I give the rating is that a lot of Korean movies are like this. I mean, Korean horror films. They're not the strongest. Um, there's only about, I can think of maybe 50 to 100 that exist. And I've seen a lot of them. A lot of them are just generic horror movies in the, the same vein as Japanese ones. They don't have the style, they're just, there's there's seldom really excellent, you know, horror films when it comes to Korean horror. I mean, you do get the outliers like The Host or A Tale of Two Sisters or, you know, you get the occasional gem here or there, but um, there isn't a large pool to, you know, compare. Hollywood makes, you know, dozens more horror films than Korea. So overall, just, you know, Korean horror movies aren't really that great in general. So I wasn't really expecting anything, but this movie doesn't deliver. So I give The Mimic a 3 out of 10.